If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see what is new in Featherwand 1.0.5. Before we dive into the new features, first let us understand what is Featherwand. Featherwand is a Gmeter agent. At least in future, it will be a full-fledged Gmeter agent. But as of now, it has the AI assistant embedded within your Gmeter. It is available as a plugin. You can install it from the plugin manager and then you can add your API key to interact with the AI models. If you go to Gmeter AI in GitHub repo or you can go to plugins manager, you can install it featherband. Now let us go to the releases and let us see what's new in version 1.0.5. In this version, I have introduced a new command called at code. So this at code will help you to refactor, rewrite, or you can add comments, or you can surround with try, catch block, etc. of your Groovy script or JavaScript in JSR223. So this is very powerful feature, very helpful people who are writing the code in JSR223 sampler. We are going to see it with an example in the demo section. And also this release has a, another new feature called linting. So this linked, it's an AI powered elements renaming feature. So it's very powerful. So all you need is you have to select the thread group or bunch of elements where you want to rename. And based on your requirement, AI will suggest the names and then it will automatically rename it for your elements. So it's a very powerful feature. Please test it out and let me know your feedback. And also I have fixed a, a zoom in and a zoom out uh, issue. So basically whenever you zoom in or zoom out in Gmeter, the feather band will stay as is, not anymore. Now it will adopt that zoom in, zoom out whenever you change the settings in the menu. Now let us dive into feather band and let us see about these features. So this is Gmeter with the simple test plan. Right now, I don't have any other one installed. Now let us go to Plugins Manager and under Available Plugins, just uh, search for Featherwand and check this box. So here you can see what is new in version 1.5 and it is displaying the features and the screenshot. And another important feature I forgot to mention is uh, navigation buttons, which we are going to see it at very first in the demo. So once you Check this box and click on apply changes and restart Jmeter. So this will automatically download from the GitHub and then it will uh, put it in your local uh, library slash ext folder, the jar file, and then it will restart the Jmeter. Now let me zoom in so that you can uh, see the differences clearly. So whenever you zoom, zoom in, the plugins manager, the feather band also will automatically zoom in and zoom out. So now First thing is, let us see about the navigation button. So right now, at the bottom right corner here, there are two buttons. One is the up arrow and the down arrow. So these two buttons will help you to navigate between the elements. So whenever you want to select a particular element, no need to move the cursor from the right side to the left side. So this you are traveling your mouse from extreme right to extreme left, which is time consuming. So just to save your time, I introduced these two buttons. So this is like a control plane of Featherwand. In future, I'll be adding more controls so that you will have a granular control over the elements and the plugin. So now let me open a simple template let us select uh, advanced uh, web test plan. And as you see here, these two buttons will be enabled automatically based on the current selection. And if you just navigate down, it will automatically navigate down and then it will open the uh, child elements if it is uh, find any, and then it will just go on. And if you just keep the up button, and it will navigate to the up button. So this will save your time. So because every time I want to select some different element, then I need to travel my mouse from the right to left, so not anymore. You can use uh, these uh, navigation buttons with ease. 
So this is the very first feature in this release. And now let us focus on the at code. So for the at code, what I can do, let me add one JSR223 sampler. And I am not going to write anything because we have an AI. So let us ask something very simple. Sample a groovy code to print the say J meter version. Right. So hit enter. So this will give you a bunch of uh, groovy code, which we can uh, copy and paste directly to uh, JSR223. So now let us just uh, expand this pane here. And here I can uh, just copy this and just paste it. So this is the Ruby script. So now as you see here, it is very lengthy uh, and I want to uh, shorten this. So what I can do, you can use the at code option. So to make use of the at code, what you can do, you can just select the snippet where you want to work on the refactoring or rewriting something, whatever you want and click on the chat box and you can ask at code uh, simplify uh, this and hit enter. So what this will do, it will automatically uh, send the selected text uh, to the backend and then it will process it based on your prompt and then it will display the response. So here I can copy the simplified version and then I can replace it here. So this is how you can use the at code option. So this at code is very simple example, this one, whatever I showed you, uh, you can make it a little more powerful as well. For example, here I can just select again and I can ask at code uh, surround uh, with uh, try and catch and hit enter. So this will again send the context uh, to the backend and then it will uh, process your input and then it will just uh, give you the uh, respective uh, output. Again, I can copy this and then I can just uh, paste here as is. So this will work as is, but it is our responsibility to make sure it is actually working or not. So this again, it's a pinch of a salt. You can process based on a requirement, just to select and add a code in your chat box. So rest of the thing will be taken care of by the AI. So this is one of the feature I thought it will be useful for the engineers. And eventually I uh, will add something like select this and right click and you know, select. So that is also in progress. But if you have any other idea, please let me know in the comments. Okay, now let us see the another uh, feature called Lint. So Lint is again, it's a very powerful uh, feature. And to make use of the Lint, so what I can do, let me start over the fresh conversation history and select the three group. And you can ask at Lint, rename these with uh, uh, properties, for example. You know? So this will uh, go with the, the prompt as per the, your requirement and then it will uh, go through all the elements and then it will automatically uh, rename it. So as you see here, it automatically renamed everything under this third plan, third group. And if you just navigate bit, uh, between uh, the elements using these, you know, so you can easily validate whether everything is properly working or not. So again, this is another uh, pinch of assault. You can play, uh, you can be a little playful and you can also say, for example, Clint, uh, rename these uh, with say, bluey character and names and hit enter. So again, it will uh, process with the you know bluey character names just to be uh, show the fun side of you know linting and it will automatically uh, rename this as per the you know review requirement so here if you see bluey muffin socks mcne mckenzie so all are a bluey characters name and you can be a little creative as well and you can all be be professional as well so for example again i can uh, select only these four elements and then i can ask okay linked rename uh, these uh, with uh, uh, transactions t00 uh, t10 uh, and so on as you know suffix you no know, and the hit enter so this will process the transaction as you know a suffix so based on your requirements it'll automatically adopt and i guess it is did not find anything meaningful i guess probably we can try again so what we can do, let us select the third group. So rename, lint, rename with 
टी जीरो जीरो टी टेन एंड सो ऑन एस सफिक्स लेट एस सी हाउ इट इज वर्किंग फाइन सो दिस टाइम इट डेंट वर्क सो वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन प्रेस कमांड जी so it will go back to the previous state so that is why i want to show you this as well so if you undo it it will automatically go back to the previous state so now let me create a new conversation and let us select this again and add transactions t00 t10 as suffix see so now it worked this time so again if you don't want to use this you can just uh, press uh, you know command z by selecting the outside and it will automatically rename and if you want to redo again command shift z so again it will go to uh, the previous state so this is how you can make use of the lint so that you can rename it using the ai powered suggestions okay so now let us go back to the uh, uh, release you know list of uh, new features and fix uh, zoom in zoom out so i want to show you this so just go to options and zoom out zoom in zoom out so it will automatically adopt uh, to your uh, changes as you see here the chat also is you know uh, resizing it based on your zoom in and zoom out please download the latest version and try and if you face any issues please raise an issue and if you have any suggestions please let me know in the roadmap section and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to QA insights channel